Standing before you today is a couple who in all ways are perfect for each other. Through the ups and downs, wins and losses, these two have formed a relationship that in a few sh short moments will become lifelong. Of course, this didn't happen overnight. So how do we get to the John and Amanda we know today? From strangers to falling in love, their story begins like so many others. During a night out with friends, John and Amanda were introduced by a mutual acquaintance. Somehow, potentially from too much tequila. <laughs> Amanda got the impression that John was either married or engaged and she walked away from him. A friend quickly cleared this up and before the night ended, Amanda gave John her number. The very next day, John called her and Amanda told him she was going away on a seven day cruise. <laughs> John thought his chances had sailed off right along with her in that cruise. But upon her return, Amanda called John and a new chapter of their love story began. As I mentioned earlier, John and Amanda's story started by following the footsteps of so many great love stories, as seen by their first date. John wasn't a big dating guy and sought advice from his more experienced friends. <laughs> their expert advice, if you go out to eat, don't order anything spicy, and never get a burger. <laughs> Apparently, burgers are known to be the messiest item on the menu, and it doesn't leave you with a great look. So when they get to the restaurant, Amanda ordered spicy buffalo chicken sandwich, <laughs> and John, well, John got the burger. <laughs> Apparently, advice isn't always meant to be followed. John and Amanda aren't your typical couple, but that's what fills their story with a lot of laughs and a lot of love. Which takes us to the night John proposed to Amanda. While in Atlantic City for the Marine Corps Ball, John and Amanda began to pose for a picture. However, unbeknownst to Amanda, John had arranged for his friend to record a video of him proposing instead of taking a picture. As John began to drop to one knee, Amanda, keenly aware of her surroundings as always, <laughs> thought he was falling and grabbed onto him to hold him up. After sharing a laugh, John once again dropped to a knee and finally got to ask Amanda to marry him, and of course, she said yes.
From the first night out with friends to the life-changing night in Atlantic City, these two have committed to building and strengthening a relationship together that will last for the rest of their lives. John and Amanda, do you come here today to give yourselves to each other in marriage? I do. Yeah. This is the part of the ceremony where John and Amanda make promises to each other, traditionally known as vows. John, do that to I, John. I, John. Take you, Amanda. Take you, Amanda. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In good times and bad. In good times and in bad. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Amen. Yes. I, Amanda. <laughs> I, Amanda. Take you, John. Take you, John. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In good times and bad. In good times and bad. All the better. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Amanda. Amanda. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol. As a symbol. Of my love and commitment. Of my love and commitment. John. John. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol. As a symbol. Of my love and commitment. Of my love and commitment. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Oh, you make <laughs>
Although these two tried following the footsteps of so many great love stories, I think you can see they forged their own path and built their story on love and laughter, comedy and support. I asked John, what do you love most about Amanda? He responded, her incredible sense of humor and how headstrong and determined she is. Whatever she sets her mind to do, she works hard to accomplish it. And in the process, drives me to be a better person every day. Amanda was next. I asked, what do you love about John? Amanda responded, his sense of humor and ability to make me laugh, even when I'm having an off day. She added, I love that he lets me chase my dreams, even when they sound crazy. I love that he lets me be me. Though loving words from each other are meaningful, two people in love are bound to say kind words about one another. But it's the opinions of family and friends that are grounded in reality. The following words are from those that love John and Amanda the most. John and Amanda are complete opposites, but it works for them. They always seem to be in sync with each other, even when it makes no sense to anyone else. It's been said that opposites attract, and this appears to be true for the young couple standing before us. So why is today so special then? Well, for one, they haven't done anything crazy yet. And by they, I mean Amanda. <laughs> Let's hope it stays that way for just a few more minutes. Today really is so special because a new chapter in this loving relationship is being written as we speak.